So I don't know if any of you, any of you have seen this, but this is my 22. Cute little thing. 1911, 22, like I said. Uh, yeah, the only problem with it is that, uh, oh, 22, room fire. Pretty accurate with the right, with the right stuff, but with not so great stuff it doesn't really chamber well has problems with accuracy like uh let's see all right i was aiming directly here right here right on the edge of that x there and it shot up that's okay that's understandable let's try it again same spot Let's see if I can. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, did that. Give me a second. All right. Cough again. Put another uh, shot. Same exact spot. Let's see if it hits the same spot or somewhere else this time. Oh look! It hit. Oh yay! Low battery mode. It hit there now, right at the edge. That was pretty accurate. At what? Barely ten feet. Let's have another shot. Same spot. See? Oh no! Looky there. Give me a second. Another shot. Same spot. All right. Perfect. Nearly. Less than half an inch off. Pretty good. Let's shoot again. Ooh. Is it trying to chamber something? Or pull it out? Eh. It's trying to pull something out. Uh, give me a second. All right. Again. Let's try to shoot the same spot. All right. At 10 feet, this thing's grouping is pretty okay. If it was grouping at... Oh, wait. It's jammed again. Let me just... There we go. It's grouping is eh, reasonable at 10 feet. 10 feet, that would be okay. Like, that would be, that'd be okay for, I'd be okay with that grouping at probably 30 feet if, the, if, if I had like, you know, this is crappy ammo, whatever. 30, 35 maybe, 50 maybe? I don't know. It's about 50 feet-ish. Um, same spot. Where'd it hit? Oh look, it jammed. Um. Oh! I think that's it up there. Where I was shooting, where I was aiming for, where the first shot hit, right there. Right here this time, right there. Um. As you can see, this ammo is horrible. Oh look, it jammed again, all right. I had to clear those last two because they got damaged in the uh, unjamming process. Thanks, crappy ammo. Here's another round. Oh, wait. Now, I did it. As you can see, it's not jammed, but did it cycle. Let's see. Huh? Huh? Nope. Give me a second. All right. One more. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Fun times. Oh, we got a few more left. And. Hey, look. It's still in there. Damn it. Now. I'm going to go back at about. Of course, guns on safety. Finger is off the trigger. That's the way you always keep it. Otherwise, you're going to shoot yourself. It's stupid. Um, I don't know how far this is going to be. But, uh, right here, I'll just... 80 feet-ish. Let's see if I can even, even hit the thing with this. Like, I've hit it with other pistols. Let's even hit it with this. Okay, time for really, really steady shot. Center mass. Oh! Woo! It hit it. That's a surprise. But did it chamber? Nope. Ah. Damn ammo. Now, can I hit it one more time? One more time. Can I do it? Can I do it? <laughs> Woo! Look at there. Good job, gun. Uh, 
Yeah, that's the last bit. I'll clear it in a second. Yeah. Where it hit on that, I have no idea. Mostly because there's a bunch of different holes in it. But from that angle, I would say I can't really tell. Um, that one there, fucking focus. That one there is good. That one seems like it might have been there, which would be not the bad shot. Oh, maybe it's in here. Right down there. Maybe. I don't know. So the ammo I used today was a Gila Super Extra blah 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 blah. It's okay for rifles and stuff, but it just doesn't have the, it just doesn't have the power of that that's needed for a pistol slide. So use it in rifles if you're gonna use it, because clearly it doesn't chamber for shit in pistols, like at all. All right, see ya.